Now, I know that you may be scared, scared. scared of After Effects, but it's not quite as hard as you may think because you gotta take After Effects in small chunks and I'm gonna give you 20. I'm here at the Carmichael Garden Group space here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia, and we're about to have some fun. But first, let's talk about time. It sucks. You started video editing like what? Five years ago? You know Premiere Pro inside and out and you haven't given yourself the courage to open up After Effects for even a few seconds. Time is not getting any slower and I'm gonna start your lesson on topic by introing you into the time displacement effect in After Effects. All into itself, it specifically gives you a crazy creative way to warp time. It works by using a displacement map, basically a guide layer, where the black and white pixels determine how time is altered on another layer. Here's how it plays out. Imagine a grayscale image, where black represents the past, white the future, and gray the present. When you apply this effect, the black areas in your displacement map cause the pixels in your target layer to display earlier in time. Conversely, white areas pull pixels from future frames. Shades of gray maintain the current timeline. This creates a visually compelling effect where different parts of your image seem to be playing at different times. Since you're essentially slowing down parts of your footage, make sure that you're shooting at as high of a frame rate as possible for the smoothest result. Now check out this tutorial that I made a few years ago that goes over this long chin and bloated face effect that you can see in Justin Bieber's yummy music video. This is a fairly simple effect to manipulate. It essentially gives you a wide range of options to smear, squeeze, pull different pixels in your footage. It works best when used in conjunction with a mask so it can target a specific area, like in this instance, Justin's face. We all unfortunately can't afford fancy stabilizers like the Ronin. The warp stabilizer effect is meant to be a tool that can be used in post to add that last oomph of stabilization to maybe a handheld shot that's been stabilized up to the point of human possibility, but needs that extra push to get it perfect. Now warp stabilizer is not absolutely perfect, but trust me, it has progressed a ton since it first got released in 2011. The audio spectrum tool in After Effects is a powerful tool for creating visual representations of sound. It analyzes an audio track and generates a visual graph that corresponds to the frequency and amplitude of the audio. Check this out, I was actually able to create this using the audio spectrum effect using absolutely no keyframes. As a content creator, you're always juggling multiple projects. Video templates, stock footage, royalty-free music, photos, graphics, fonts. Dang, I need all this stuff. And that's why I use Envato. They offer the broadest range of creative asset categories in one convenient place. No more searching multiple platforms. With one simple subscription, I get unlimited downloads to a massive library of over 19 million quality assets. Whether I need stock videos, graphic templates, royalty-free music, photos, presentation designs, or anything in between, Envato's got my creativity covered. And the best part, from just $16.15 a month, I get a lifetime commercial license for everything I download. Plus I can cancel any time. It's like having a whirlwind of creativity at my fingertips. And between you and me, it's the most cost-effective way to look like a complete creative genius across all dimensions. So why get dizzy trying to find the perfect assets when you can harness the creative whirlwind with Envato? The light sweep effect in After Effects is a popular tool that's used to create a dynamic lighting effect that simulates a beam of light sweeping over an object. It's often used to highlight text, logos, or specific areas in a scene, adding a dramatic and sophisticated touch. It's highly adjustable and it's a really easy way to wow your clients when you use it to quickly animate their logo or any other static branding. Now, do you ever wish you could extend the background to your shot just a little bit? Maybe to better stabilize the footage or maybe for the sake of creating a better seamless transition. The motion tile effect allows users to expand footage beyond its original size by tiling it horizontally or vertically with options to adjust the output width and height and set the tile center. I use it all the time. The motion blur effect is a critical tool to adding realism to animations by simulating the natural blur that occurs when objects move quickly. It replicates the way that cameras capture motion, where fast moving objects appear blurred in the direction of the movement. Motion blur can be clicked on and off right in the timeline window. One of our most popular OG tutorials was with my bro Ben Haggerty, and we talked about this dope feature in After Effects called time remapping. 
It's a powerful feature that allows for precise control over the timing and speed of your footage, and it's otherwise known as speed ramping. This is an effect that you've probably seen everywhere at this point, from music videos to TikTok. Text animators in After Effects offer a robust way to create dynamic and complex text animations. Utilizing range selectors, they animate specific parts of the text, like characters, words, or lines, with a variety of properties, such as position, scale, rotation, and opacity. These animators provide immense control and customizability, allowing for intricate animations like self-writing text or cascading effects. You can layer multiple animators on a single text layer for sophisticated effects, and combine them with expressions and keyframes for even more precision and creativity. The displacement map in After Effects offers a superior approach to create VHS glitch transitions compared to simple VHS overlays. By actively distorting the image based on luminance values of another image, it elevates and twists the visuals, offering more depth and realism than a flat overlay. This method not only replicates the look, but also the feel of genuine VHS artifacts with its ability to lift and warp the image. And by the way, you can find some really cool VHS packs in your Envato subscription. The echo effect in After Effects generates overlapping instances of a layer. Generally, it's used to create a sense of speed or a ghostly trail in animations. When applied to text or graphics, it results in dynamic fading repetitions that enhance visual interest. This effect is equally striking on a person shot against a dark background, where it creates a surreal, shadowy echo, adding a dramatic and artistic element to live action footage. The CC glue gun effect in After Effects is a unique tool that simulates the look of a glue or a liquid substance being applied to a layer. It creates a viscous flowing effect, ideal for projects that require a look of liquid motion or organic growth. The noise and grain effects in After Effects are vital for adding imperfections to digital media. Now listen to this really closely. What people don't realize is any type of footage has at least a little bit of noise to it. Even footage at 100 ISO is gonna have at least a little bit of noise to it. The thing about digital media, like say text or any type of digital overlay, it's gonna be perfectly noiseless. It was literally created in a computer. So in order to composite that perfectly on top of real footage, you're gonna have to add some noise, fake noise, on top using the noise and grain effect to allow it to blend seamlessly with the real footage that's being placed on top of. If you don't do it, the graphic element like the text is gonna literally look like it's just laying on top of the real footage and it's gonna look really fake. The camera lens blur in After Effects offers a more realistic blur compared to other blur effects in After Effects. It closely mimics the aesthetic of an actual camera lens. This realism is achieved through its ability to simulate the bokeh effect, where out-of-focus areas in the image are rendered at a more natural, soft blur akin to what's produced by a real camera lens. Furthermore, its integration with a blur map, which users can create and customize, allows for precise control over the areas of the image that is to be blurred. The turbulent displace effect in After Effects creates a fluid, organic distortion in visuals, simulating effects like water ripples or heat haze. When applied to text, it imparts a dynamic, wavy motion, transforming static titles into eye-catching animated elements. It's highly editable, and you can see how I'm using it with this text to make it look like it's waving in the wind. The rotor brush effect in After Effects streamlines rotoscoping like crazy by allowing users to easily isolate objects in a video. By intelligently expanding rough outlines onto detailed masks and adapting to footage changes, it reduces the need for manual frame-by-frame -frame adjustments, making it a crucial tool for visual effects and compositing. The latest iteration of rotor brush, rotor brush 3.0, feels like literally magic sometimes, and it's eons better than version one. The Refine Edge tool in After Effects enhances the Rotor Brush tool by improving the quality of the edges in rotoscoping. It's particularly effective for dealing with challenging elements like hair or fur, where traditional rotoscoping struggles. The tool works by identifying and refining the border between your subject and its background allowing for a more accurate and natural looking extraction. Before this tool existed, the only way you had any luck of a clean hair composite was shooting in front of a perfectly lit green screen and then hopefully having a skilled enough post artist to lift that key out. The mosaic effect basically pixelates footage, allowing control over the block size for various uses like simulating censorship or creating maybe a retro look. It's ideal for obscuring details for privacy or stylistic purposes, making it a practical yet creative tool in video editing and motion graphics. The puppet tool literally brings still images to life by adding flexible movement. It does this by placing pins in your layer. You can then animate these points to bend, twist, and scale specific parts of your image. A lot of people use this tool for character animation. 
It's actually pretty crazy useful. The CC vignette effect in After Effects is used to create a cinematic, beautiful looking vignette or light fall off at the edges of your footage. This effect darkens or lightens the corners of your image, drawing the viewer's focus towards the center or a specific part of the frame. It's highly customizable, allowing you to adjust the amount, size, and softness of your vignette. The CC Bobbly Eyes effect in After Effects is a creative effect that allows you to transform elements in your composition to blobby, liquid-like shapes. It works by referencing a base layer, like this metallic-looking solid, which it uses to distort the applied layer based on color and luminance values. This effect is particularly useful for creating organic, fluid movements and textures in graphics and text like this.